I guess, Dale, can you talk us through the decision for surgery and the, the outcome there? Um, I'll give it as clear as I can, as honest as I can. Um, it's a conservative way to go. Um, didn't think surgery was on the cards at all, even after the game, and probably even now, what is it, four or five days later, I actually feel really good. I feel like I'm walking. You saw me jump out of the car. I'm in no pain at all. So it's a little bit confusing for me, first of all, to um, go from obviously playing on Sunday to all of a sudden getting surgery now for 8, 10, 12 weeks. Um, but after consultation, obviously, with the club, who were fantastic, and then meeting a couple of specialists on a couple of days ago, whatever day that was, Tuesday, um, we've come to a decision, which I'm really comfortable with, that uh, we'll get surgery, get the right treatment, um, do the rehab, and hopefully be ready for the second half of the year. How was frustrating there? was it, I suppose, when you did it? You've done a full pre-season, you've been training for five months, and then yeah. second game in. Yeah, it's obviously really disappointing. Um, it happens to a lot of people, but then, on the other hand, I've been really fortunate for 13 years, so at some point... It has to happen. It's just the odds and it's percentages that at some stage it is going to happen. I've actually felt like that for many years. I, I realise that I've been lucky. Um, every time that I have had an, an injury or an, op or an operation, I've been able to wait to the end of the year to get it all sorted. Um, I was, I'm more disappointed that I'm just not going to be a part of it. And it's the first time, as I said, that it's really happened to me in this scale. Um, but I'm already sort of missing it. I missed training today, which was the first time in years. Um, so that's something I'll have to get used to over the next 10 weeks. But I'm, uh, I'm on the bright side, I'm really looking forward to getting back into it already. Was there an alternative at all? The alternative, I guess, is just to let it try and um, heal naturally, um, which was a serious decision that we had to make, and that was part of it. But by saying that, I'm actually really comfortable, you know, going in for an operation in a couple of hours that I'll be, uh, I'll be ready to go. Scotty said that I think you were a bit tight or you had some awareness going into the match. Do you regret that you played now? Not at all. Um, at no stage did I feel like I was going to do my hamstring, um, even at half time where I... Just out of coincidence within the game, had a couple of incidences where I was running full speed and sort of had to bend over, which is the likelihood of doing it or how you normally do it, but I actually didn't have any issues with it. I, I just felt I'd been tight throughout the week, which getting a little bit older, that is not as uncommon as it used to be, um, but I had no inkling that this was going to happen at all. It was just that incident, and, I, and looking at the footage, it's almost an isolated incident that it could have happened whether I was feeling 100% anyway. What's the you can get back next? Uh, my earliest, I'd say, would be about eight weeks, and that's being really optimistic. I think the general course for this sort of injury is about eight, uh, 10 to 12, and we'll just play by year. Um, we'll just see how I recover. It's all dependent on how I'm feeling, how aggressive we can go with the recovery, and then obviously post that whether I'm ready to get a game or not. There's been a few of them in, in the recent years. Have you spoken to any other players that have been through this? Um, not with the surgery. Um, I did speak to a couple of the Saints boys that just messaged out of, um, you know, out of support. And I spoke to Adam Snyder the other day, who's had multiple hamstring injuries, and they were just, they were just more supportive. I haven't touched base with anybody else in regards to um, this injury. And the good thing about North Melbourne, or the more bad thing for me, is we've only really had one player in the last five to six years that's had any form of hamstring injury. So... It's a little bit new within the club, but by saying that, I've had enough support from various um, outlets that I, um, I feel okay. You, you'll be confident you can get back up and running, then it's not catastrophic to your, your entire season, I suppose? I, I'd like to think so. I mean, if we do the process properly, and obviously it starts with today, let it heal for a couple of weeks and just rest, and then um, get the rehab right. And I've got full confidence, full support from the, uh, the coaching staff, and particularly the phys, um, phys eds at the club that we can get this right. As I said, it's my first one, and I'm 31, so whether age has something to do with it, I'm not too sure, but I'm in a positive frame of mind. I feel like I can get back for the second half of the year and hopefully um, have some sort of an impact. The injury itself, Nick, it's not a, your hamstring hasn't come off the bone. No, or no, like, no, 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 it's no. tendon related, and I don't mean to be blase, but I don't really understand it that well, because I haven't had to deal with it, as I've said, but it's, um, it's tendon related, and apparently it's a simple operation. It's not the worst end of the um, spectrum in regards to hamstrings, but by saying that, I still have to get some form of surgery. We've seen with some guys that have had the, the tendon surgery that they haven't perhaps got back to where they were beforehand. Is that a, a fear for you at all? I haven't really thought about it. Um, I guess one, just off the top of my head, I'm not the quickest bloke in the world, so I don't know if I'll lose any speed. I'm not the longest kick, so I don't know if I'll get, lose any distance with my um, skills, but I'm optimistic. I mean, it's maybe it's my person personality that I'm a little bit um, more positive, but I feel like I'll be OK. And going back to what I said earlier and probably what I said to the coach and the phys, um, phys eds at the club after the game, I actually felt okay. I felt like I had a corky, and if I didn't look at the scans, I actually felt like I probably could have played next week, and I still feel like that, as I said, five days later, so um, it's a little bit confusing, but it is what it is. Can you draw parallels from what happened to Nick Rewalt back in 2010? Had something similar, a similar amount of time out, yeah. and ended up playing in a grand final? 
Yeah, well, I'd like to, if that's the case, I'd definitely like to go down that path. And the other one I thought was um, Sam Mitchell, who obviously had a, uh, a few hiccups last year and, you know, a few months later he's a premiership player again. So, I mean, there's other cases out there, but then you, there's also the other side where guys don't come back to full strength or full ability um, or never come back. But we'll just play by you. We'll see how I'm feeling along the way and we'll just judge it on those cases. More time changing nappies? Yeah, well, there's been a few of them already over the last month. Um, yeah, to put it in perspective, I'm actually loving fatherhood as well. So at some stage, it gives me a bit of a chance to be at home and spend some time with Jude and obviously my wife, Jules, who's doing a great job. And um, I'm still getting up during the night. So I haven't had a good night's sleep anyway for the last month. So nothing will change in that regard if I'm getting up to uh, take care of my leg. Do you know if it's similar at all to what Nick, Nick had done? I actually haven't touched base with him, yeah. to be honest with Rui. Um, I probably should, um, but I, I don't know. I think Rui's was off the bone by uh, out of memory. Yeah, and I can't even remember how long Nick was out for, but... There's, um, as I said, there's multiple people I can touch base with, and unfortunately a few of the Saints boys have had hamstring injuries in the last couple of months. So if I need any advice or any support, those guys are probably there. But as I said, the guys at North Melbourne, the support staff there are um, a first class. Were you aware, Nick, before this you had the longest active streak of consecutive games in the competition? I think uh, I didn't. And it's, it's funny, it's not something I really pay attention to, but I know that I haven't missed many games. And as I said earlier, I've just been really fortunate. I do all my recovery, I do all my preparation, I don't miss many sessions, but I've been lucky and I, I honestly mean that. There's no reason why I have been lucky enough to play games. I still pull up as sore as I used to from games. I've still had six or seven operations in my career, but for some reason they've always been able to be at the end of the season, opposed to being throughout the season. So I I'm not a big one on the games, to be honest with you. I know I have played a lot now, but the games don't really phase me. Um, I just hate missing football and I already feel like that, that I'm... I did say to the surgeon, I said, so am I going to play this week? He goes, I don't think you'll be there for a little while. I was like, oh, OK, we'll work through that. So do you think you'll be in the box? I mean, so you haven't had long to think about it, but yeah. what's your take? You'll stay away from the club? or um, I already missed the club, to be honest, and I've only have, I've missed one day. Yesterday we had a day off. Today I obviously missed the main session. I, I want to be a part of it. I mean, if I need to take a little bit of time off to get my head right, spend some time with the family, I'll do that and I'll judge that after the operation. But... I love football and I love the guys that I'm working with. I love the coaching staff, so I might even try and spread myself around, you know, have a little bit of a go in the coaching box if they let me. Um, but also just be there for the boys, just be a bit of a sounding board. You know, I've obviously played enough footy that I can help out in various ways, so we'll just see. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick.